What is up, Bulls Nation? Welcome back. The Chicago Bulls get the victory, beating the Washington Wizards 127-98 to in a game that they had control the entire time. Not only did they keep controlling this game, not only did they blow the Wizards out in a way that helped us not have to stress, we saw an amazing game from Ayo Sumu, who hit a career high in points, and we saw Vooch and Drummond play like the big men they are. We're going to talk about all that and more, but first... You got to hear the intro. Give me the hot sauce. Give me the hot sauce, Bob. For the lead. Good. Oh. Did you not get the memo? Don't shoot me for the lead. I want to go higher. Oh, my goodness. Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. So welcome back to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. My name's Quentin. I'm your host. And if you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos. And with that, let's talk Bulls. The game went amazing. It was a one of these days where we got some bad news as a Chicago city hearing that Justin Fields was traded to the Pittsburgh Steelers. But the Bulls came up and made up for that a little bit by giving us a nice and confident win against the Wizards. And then it was a game where our stars didn't need to do a lot. So we're going to start out with DeMar DeRozan in this game. 13 points, 4 rebounds, 6 assists. And most of the game, it looked like he was just trying to get other people involved. He wasn't looking for a shot. He wasn't trying to do too much. He took this as a night off. And that's a good thing. DeMar is playing so many minutes. Anytime you can get a night like this where he's not needed, he doesn't have to overly push himself, is amazing. We also had to have Kobe White sit out this game with the injury that he's had. And it was one of those games where we did not need him. So it was good to see him get a little bit of extra rest. Once again, a game where you have two of your most played players not having to really do anything to get the victory. I also want to talk about Alex Caruso, 16 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 for 4 from the 3-point line. He continues to be the great shooter that we've been seeing throughout this year. He is truly taking himself into being a great two-way player. He is a 3 and D type of wing, I mean, uh, guard now. And that's something that you gotta love. You gotta love that he went into the offseason season. He said, people are stepping off of me. They're letting me take the shot, and I'm going to make them regret it. And that's all you can ask for from your team. Go in, work hard, and do what you need to do to be a better player. Torrey Craig, four points, one rebound, two assists. Wasn't really needed this game. We didn't need his shooting really this game. The Bulls really ate in the paint, and that takes me to Nikola Vukovic. 29 points, 13 rebounds, two assists. Yes, I know I messed his name up. Just skip over it. 29 points, 13 rebounds, 2 assists, 11 for 19 from the field, 6 for 6 from the free throw line. Vooch played like a big man. He got into the post. He took his man. He out outpowered him and got to the basket. And when you play like that, when you play in the paint and pass out, the Bulls are at their best. So seeing him have a game like this where he wasn't taking a lot of threes, he wasn't forcing a lot of shots, he was doing the things you want to see him do, it was a good thing to see. You also had off the bench Andre Drummond, 13 points, 9 rebounds, who also played big, using his strength, getting to the rim. The Bulls really ate tonight in the paint. They got down. They got on the fast break. They got into the, the lanes. They did what you have to do. They didn't focus on shooting against a team that is too small, that doesn't have a shot blocker. They stayed on the attack, and that takes me into the star of the game, the Chicago kid, Ayo DeSumo, 34 points, a career high in points for my man, and he did it at the United Center in Chicago, and that's something you got to love to see. But he got 34 points on 41 minutes, three rebounds, nine assists, four for seven from the three-point line. He can shoot, fellas. Okay, Io is taking that step that we want to see and seeing him really step up to this point guard role now that Kobe White has been out the last couple of games shows you the versatility you have in this Kobe White-Io DeSumo pairing. 
right? I am going to love seeing these two grow together and really become our backcourt of the future. They're showing that either one of them can take over on a nightly basis. They both can pass. They both can shoot. They both can get to the rim. And having a dynamic duo like that is such a blessing for this team. But shouts out to Ayo Desumu putting in the work, becoming the player he is, and really taking the Bulls on his back tonight. I mean, Io did so much, DeMar didn't have to do anything. We didn't need a fourth quarter DeMar. We didn't need a fourth quarter Bulls team to come back and try to make a miracle happen. We got to enjoy this team, play basketball the right way. And not only that, we got to see the young fellas, okay? But Tim, but Tim is how you pronounce it. It is official. We all know how to pronounce it now. It is but Tim. But Tim is him, 6.6 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 for 5 from the field. He showed confidence. And honestly, a thing I've noticed the last few games is the man has an amazing floater game. I think he's hit at least 3 or 4 floaters in the last few times I've seen him. Every time he goes up for a floater, it looks like it's going to go in. Love seeing him get some minutes. Dalen Terry, 6.5 rebounds, 3 assists. He played his game. He looks like he's starting to put some of it together. Not all of it. There's still times where he's playing too fast. There's times where he makes mistakes. But there's other times when he makes the right play, and you can see the gym that is Dalen Terry on this team in the future. Terry Taylor, 2 points. And we got Sonogo minutes. Sonogo got minutes, two points, one rebound. He officially is four for four in NBA play, okay? He has not missed a shot in the NBA yet. He might be the greatest player ever to hit a Bulls team. I'm kidding. But seeing him get minutes, seeing the Bulls finally have a blowout win where we get to watch our team play the young fellas, play with a nice, fun atmosphere without having to worry about us coming back from down 20, without having to worry about the last two minutes, without worrying about if DeMar DeRozan is going to be the greatest player ever. We got to just enjoy a game as a city, and that's something I love to see. What I want to ask from you guys is how did you feel about seeing the Bulls beat a team they're supposed to beat. What are your thoughts on the game? I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. And like I said, if you're new and you like what you see, this is Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you're notified whenever my face hits your screen. Hope you guys had a great night. I will see you next time. Peace, y'all.